I love Starbucks more than anyone, but today we're gonna take the pumpkin spice latte down. All right, so we're on our way to Starbucks, but but before we go, you know, we have to order online because Starbucks is so fancy, and apparently, it's pumpkin time. All right, there it is. The overpriced coffee shop, woo! All right, so we just got out of Starbucks, and to be honest with you, usually it's packed, but today it's slow, it might just be the weather, but let's go home and make this better. All right, so we've got the Starbucks pumpkin spice latte. We're going to absolutely destroy it in this competition today. Um, this little thing is gonna be gone out the window by the time it ends. But first, I have to rate Starbucks as a whole, so I'm gonna rate it on its appearance, inside and out, and then the overall service that I was given today. So, outside appearance, it just looks sad and depressing. It might be the day-to-day, -day, but sad and depressing, so I'm gonna give it a four out of 10. And then I'm gonna write the inside, it's nice and cozy, so we're gonna bump that up to an eight. And then the service, I didn't really get much service because I ordered on my phone, so two. So we're gonna pop the straw open, if you can. And just to note, this, this looks extremely sad. Like, it's only been maybe 15, 20 minutes since I got it, if that. And the whipped cream is melting into the latte and the pumpkin spice that they put on top is basically like all caramelized. It's gross, okay? Okay, no shade. Okay, I don't really know what I'm getting from that, but that's a very, it's like tangy. We're gonna knock Starbucks socks off. So we're gonna be making this pumpkin spice latte the real way. And when I mean the real way, I say we're gonna be doing everything from start to finish, which means puck prep. We're gonna do some absolutely over the top, insane puck prep. So we're gonna first start by grabbing our portafilter, topping it with our funnel, and then we're gonna grind 18 grams of espresso grounds, use our WDT tool to get rid of any clumps and and then use our wedge distributor and then tamp our grounds. Like I said, these steps aren't necessarily, well, necessary, but if you wanna do them, do them. And then we get a puck that looks like this, that pulls a shot like this. Now this is a shot of espresso that was just pulled. It looks absolutely fantastic and it's perfect to say the least. So now we're gonna move on to our cold foam. Um, Starbucks tops are pumpkin spice lattes with whipped cream, which I think is dumb. So we're gonna make a pumpkin spice cold foam. And all you're gonna do is add a teaspoon of pumpkin spice, a tablespoon of pumpkin, a quarter cup of heavy whipping cream, and then a half cup of the Calafia pumpkin spice oat milk mixture. And then you're gonna froth it together until it looks something uh, smooth, yet it will stick on top foam that's nice and smooth and creamy yet has a pumpkin spice flavor. Now we're going to move into building and presenting our drink. So we're gonna grab a nice tall glass, fill it up with ice, and then fill it up with our Calafia oat milk pumpkin spice blend, and then top slowly with our two shots of espresso, and then slowly but surely pour on top our pumpkin spice cold foam that looks something like this. And then we're gonna top with our pumpkin a couple dashes of pumpkin spice and you have made the best possible pumpkin spice latte ever. All right, so this was the pumpkin spice latte and this is the one that's replacing it. I highly recommend you trying this because we won 110%, no doubt about it. Starbucks has been taken down and I highly recommend you try this. It's absolutely phenomenal. Well, I'll catch you in my next one.